Now that we have our walls drawn, we can insert doors and windows. If you're using Vectorworks Architect, Landmark, Spotlight or one of the other designer packages, then you will find on your building shell tool set a window and door object. If you're using the Fundamentals workspace, those objects are not there, so I haven't included them in the Resource Manager. If we look at our small house, and we have a look at our symbols and plug-in objects, you should see a door and a window. If you double click on the door, the door will become attached to your cursor. If you move near a wall, the wall should highlight. If the wall doesn't highlight, just check this button here. This is the wall insertion mode. Turn that on, and then you'll notice the wall highlights. The door also flips. Click. Now I can go that way, that way, that way, click, and it inserts a door for me. Once the door is inserted, you can go to your object info palette and you can make changes to that door. So let's go and select our door, have a look at our object info palette. There's a settings button that allows us to control all of the settings of this door. Let's go back to our resource manager. If we have a look at the window, double click on the window, we can insert a window object. You can insert one there, there, and so on. And you can put in as many as you like. Again, if we select that window, we can look at the settings on the object info palette. This window may not want to be that wide. It may not want to be that high either and we can control the 2D and the 3D shape of our doors and windows. If we go back to our resource manager, double click on the door, and we put a door in the middle of that room. Then select that door, and then we can have a look at our settings and say, let's make this door a little bit wider, say 1600 millimeters wide, and we'll make it a double swing or a swing by part. And you can see I've now got double doors. We can also have unequal leaves. We can have an ID tag. We can play with the leaf as well. The leaf could be glass. And when we look at that in 3D, you'll see that I've now got glass doors in this room. Let's go back to a top plan view. If you hold down your Option key on a Macintosh or your Control key on a Windows machine, you can drag a copy of that door along. So you can make copies of the door. If you go back to your Resource Manager, double click on the door again. Then we can add a door here. We can add a door there. And you can add extra windows as well.